The Economic and Philosophic Science Review is a British socialist newspaper founded by Royston Bull, formerly a leading member of the Workers' Revolutionary Party and industrial correspondent for the Scotsman newspaper. Bull split from the WRP in 1979 and with a number of supporters to form the Workers' Party. The group, upon formally repudiating Trotskyism, renamed themselves the International Leninist Workers' Party and later the Economic and Philosophic Science Review. Although Royston Bull died aged 69 on 2 January 2005, the EPSR continues to be published fortnightly, by its supporters. Policies. <laughs> <laughs> The ILWP, EPSR are avowedly Marxist-Leninist and supportive of the Soviet Union but critical of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union's revisionism which they claimed was the result of Joseph Stalin's political errors. They are also very strongly supportive of the Irish Republican Army and many Third World National Liberation movements. During the 1970s, Eurocommunists outside the group building on from earlier ideas of the New Left had attempted to promote «LGBT rights» on the far left, instead of proletarian politics. This gathered steam to the point that by the 1990s it was a prominent ideology on the far left. The EPSR rejected this proposal outright as anti-social, saying homosexuality had obvious disadvantages for any species in evolutionary terms." John Pearson, a member of the Revisionist Communist Party of Great Britain Provisional Central Committee in their publication Weekly Worker in 1999 said this was, "...homophobia," on the part of the EPSR. <laughs> Relations to Socialist Labour Party With the foundation of the Socialist Labour Party by the leader of the National Union of Mineworkers, Arthur Scargill in 1996, the EPSR dissolved itself into the SLP where they operated as a faction around their paper, the EPSR. Royston Bull was elected Vice President of the SLP in 1998, but was then almost immediately expelled or voided from party membership. Arthur Scargill, who had supported Bull's candidacy, used it to strengthen his position within the SLP. The election caused a significant rift within the SLP, with one member, Brian Heron, calling Bull's election, "...a disaster." Whilst some of Bull's supporters stayed within the SLP, most left to rejoin Bull and organized themselves as, "...EPSR supporters." Topic Notes Topic External Links Economic and Philosophic Science Review Official Website